<laughs> well, I'd like to see Dr. Frog feature maybe on our show more often. <laughs> okay. Oh. I've got some new comedy characters. I can't believe we're lucky. You know I love, uh, the work of, um, comedy greats like Chris Moyles and Noel Edmonds. I've got some really funny comic characters that'll be popping in and out of the studio. <laughs> Save them. Okay. I'm excited. <laughs> FM 104.9, I'm Ricky Gervais, with me, Steve Merchant and Carl Hilton. And a few, a few new characters, oh, Steve. Oh, I can't believe we're As you said, you know, you, you, I mean, you, I know you love Moyles and his, his sort of wacky stuff. And Chris Moyles, one of the greats. Uh, and Edmonds, and just all oh, the, no, um, well I'm gonna go along the same sort of vein. I've come up with a couple of can I do a little, can I show you one? I'm excited. Okay. Well, it always starts with a sort of doorbell. Okay. So, it goes, uh, ding dong, I go, oh, no, hold on Steve, hold on Carl, who's that at the door? Yeah. Hello. Oh, hello! Oh, look, it's Camp David, the right queer gay. Oh, hello, hello, you, you look all gay today. Is that because it's nice weather? Oh, no, that's not what it means. Oh, um, have you got a girlfriend? Camp David, the right queer gay? No, but I've got a boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. Oh, bye. <laughs> right. Oh, Ding dear. dong. Oh, it's another oh, one. On. Another comic. Hello. Oh, look. It's. Holy fuck, the little funny right. Chinese fella. <laughs> Wait, yeah. that's his name, Carl. That's his name, Carl. Carl. Hello, holy fuck. Hero. Yeah. Right? Yeah, 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 that's yeah, fine, so, that's fine. Um, Mr. Fuck, you can call me Holy right. if you want. No, I'd prefer to call you Fuck. Yeah. Right? <laughs> You're right. Nothing You're wrong right. with this so far. I'm no, right. no, no. Um, um, have, have you got a, a girlfriend, Mr. Fuck? Achoo! Oh, okay. oh, you haven't got that SARS, have you? Yeah, yeah. Top no, of that's my right. girlfriend's name. <laughs> See? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, just before you go, Mr. Fuck, <laughs> I've got, um, I've got two, <laughs> I've got two things here. I've got a nice trilby hat. That you could wear, yeah. or a little lampshade. Right. Right. Which one do you want to put on your head yes. and walk around? D I presume the trilby. No, but it's not. No. Y yeah. The lampshade. Lampshade, of course. Bye. See you. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> I thought they were genius. Can I be honest? I mean, I'll be honest. I thought they were brilliant. I thought they were. <laughs> you didn't. I mean, you didn't steal them off Chris. No, Morris, no, 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 no. They're original. They're original. Sometimes characters. Chris Morris has done stuff as good as that. I know. Yeah, yeah, I know. But no, these these are all mine. So. So, uh, there you go. We'll be, we'll be, um, we'll be hearing more from, um, Camp David, the right queer gay, and oh, who the, the fuck one. the funny oh, little one. Chinaman. What? <laughs> All right, Carl? Mm. Yeah? Is that your sort of humour? It might not be your sort of humour. You just should have run it past me before you did it. Yeah. What one are you worried about in particular? The, uh, the, the, uh, <laughs> not Camp David. Well, say his name! No. Say his name! Which one? Out. I don't know which one, one you mean. The Chinese fella. <laughs> well, I, I forget who that was. What was his name? I can't remember. <laughs> well, if you can't remember, it can't be that good, so we'll leave it. We won't do it again. Right? I'll tell oh. you what I've got, Steve. Oh, what? I'll tell you what I'm thinking. Go yeah. on. Right? Um, do you know, like, TV programs sort of get rested in the winter? Ding dong! Oh, no! Hang on, who's this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, go on. Oh, Hello go again. On. Not, not now, Mr. Fook. We're talking. <laughs> Bye! Is that Holy Fook again? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, that's it now. I'm not answering the door anymore. Right, okay, go on. Right, um, yes. Ding dong, ding dong, ding no. dong, ding dong. He's trying to get in. You've got to, don't be impolite, Rick. Come on, Rick, he wants to come in. <laughs> no, it's too late. It's too late. He's, he's, he's gone away now. Go on. Right, anyway, what I'm nice thinking hat. is, what I'm thinking is, Rockbuster's coming back for a bit. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? He likes my idea, he likes my characters, he doesn't like that idea. If I ca- uh, What? <laughs> Come on, what? Come on, no, what? I was gonna say, if I came up with, uh... <laughs> with what? Name with, that, with that Chinese fella. What was his name for again? A sketch, again? <laughs> you wouldn't have liked it. Uh, so let's, let's do Rockbusters and see how it goes. I know you weren't a fan of it, but... Hang on, yeah, but thought... I, to, be, to be honest, Carl, he dissed cheap as chimps, and we know that's a brilliant idea. Hang on, sorry, we 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 all agreed that Rockbusters was a piece of old toss. No, I didn't. <laughs> I said it needed to. And that's why we stopped doing it. I said it needed resting for a bit. I don't remember that conversation. What do you mean it, it needed resting? Just we, we abandoned it because it was appalling. You just you, you it started off as a nice idea, but you just gone crazy. It no, made it's, any let's sense. play a record and come back to this, shall we? What do you want to play? Bit of sugar. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. That cheer was all up. I don't change your mind. Great, sugar. great pop tune. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Um, I'm, I think Carl's worried about one of the names of my characters, so I'm changing. Uh, the the 
gay fella's name to David Gray, the bent pianist. Right. <laughs> what? <laughs> but do you not think that Columbo looks like he smells? Would you imagine he smells a bit? He's a brilliant detective. Well, he's I... got that dog and he smokes cigars, so I imagine he sm I smells- I reckon he stinks. I reckon he doesn't clean his clothes enough. Oh, I think he has a- I think he gets up and washes, but I, I think, think he puts I on a crumpled up- I just think he's too absent-minded. I think he's too busy thinking on solving crimes and stuff. What do you think- do, do, do you think his wife love, makes him his, clean think his pants quite, now quite, and again? I think they're quite a bohemian couple. I'm not sure she's really interested in that. I think she's kind of- she's got her own mind. Maybe she's a painter or something. No, you maybe- know. maybe she's, uh, she's losing it a bit and he's a bit embarrassed by yeah, it. Yeah, that could be true. That and she's be probably true. incontinent, so while she's ironing his trousers, she just- just- <laughs> All over them, and he goes, yeah. Oh, my God, she's shutting my pants again. I gotta wait a little. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's. That's what. Oh, ding dong! <laughs> Who's that? This? Oh, hello! Oh, look, it's it's David Gray, the bent piano player. Oh! Alright. I thought it was gonna be Columbo. Playing with a joint. Ding dong! <laughs> oh! Right. And, uh, my wife loves you. Yeah. Hello. Oh, I don't believe it. Look who's doing that. Okay, do you, uh, do you want to do Rockbusters, Steve, now? Can we, can okay, we listen. It? With the whole Rockbusters thing, I, I don't want to be responsible for bringing it back. So, I think we should put it to the vote. You should be email in. We'll give people five minutes to email in. I'll take a straw poll. Do you want to see the return of Rockbusters or not? We're leaving it to you right. and the audience uh, to decide. Okay, Steve. Uh, I guarantee it's going to be a landslide. They are all going to want it. But why have we ever trusted our listener? We, we know what they're like. You've just described some of them with a bloke in white trousers and Columbo's wife shitting herself. So that's the sort of people that, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was actually, it was weird because the waitress guy did ask for my autograph before he was hauled away. <laughs> so maybe he is a listener. 104.9, I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. All right, well, unsurprisingly, the overwhelming consensus is that people would like to hear the return of Rockbusters. I should, however, point out just some of the some of the no responses. Uh, let me see what we've got is here. Is Dickie Anderson calling it? Sadly, nothing from Dickers. I think I might make him one of my um, hilarious yeah. sort of comedy <laughs> characters. What do you think he would sound like? Um, what would he sound like? He sort of probably like that. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Ding dong. Hello. Hey, it's, hey, it's Dickie Anderson. I can't believe it. Your show's rubbish. Something like that? I, I mean, I think you should work on them perhaps before you, you're you... You're saying there's not a lot of substance these I'm guys. I'm just saying that, you know, once the novelty of the doorbell is, <laughs> is worn off... Well, um, I don't think you understand comedy on radio, I'm Steve. I'm not sure I do, but To be um, honest. I'm listen listen yeah. to Noel Evans, listen to Moyles. You'll see, you don't need to riff with it. It's just, you just do the doorbell and just say they're here. <laughs> right. Okay. That's all you need to do. <laughs> sure. So, sure. that's the main thing. Well, so we've I'm, had a couple I'm thinking of some more characters as well. Well, keep working on those. Yeah. Marcus has emailed, um, he says no to Rockbusters, he hasn't heard it but it sounds rubbish. Placebo and bitter end. I don't want to contradict you lads, but it's not, we've got a full hour to go on the, uh, <laughs> Ricky Gervais show, on XFM 104.9. I am Ricky Gervais, the aforementioned Ricky Gervais, with me, Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. Rockbusters. <laughs> oh, ding dong. Oh, who's that? Oh, it's, it's p a posh bloke who doesn't care about poor people. <laughs> Hello, Posh Bloke, what are you doing? I'm in my Rolls Royce and I don't like the homeless. Oh, Posh Bloke, don't be a c you want to do that? Satire. That is satire. Yeah. I, I just, I, uh, there's nothing like it. So it's it. political as well. I'm getting oh, in well, political so many, things. Oh, there's so many things. Don't begin to show off. I'm I was showing that foreigners, some foreigners are funny. I got in the fact that, like, if you, if you notice that Chinese people wear different hats to us. Yes. So that's political in a yes. sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Well, the thing is, Steve, right, that is like what I imagine <laughs> Ricky's house being like when people are ringing the bell. Because they're all so different, it's got a little- He's obsessed with all my friends being slightly different to each other. I- I've never understood it. He goes, there's no thread. There's no thread to them. All my mates have got a thread running through them. I was even literally after they walk out of the home. <laughs> yeah. But what do you mean my friend's all different? Well, that could be- you, it wouldn't surprise me if, if I was round there and the bell went and I said, do you want me to get it? And he said, yeah, and I opened it and it's, you know, uh, what, holy fuck? Holy, <laughs> yeah. He's at the door, right? And then I'd say he's busy. Close the door, bell would go again, then you got the little gay fella. David Gray. Yeah. And then, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Not really, no. Don't talk shite twice.